So we're going to South Africa, two tests over there. It's a tour. We've got some players in this group that haven't even been in South Africa, you know, and, you know, with All Blacks yet alone, super rugby. So we don't need them. Um, they can stay in the north. I don't really care. So New Zealand Rugby finally admits that they need South Africa and they identified three ways on how they can rebuild the relationship that was broken in 2020 with South African Rugby. So the first thing they planned and what they've put in place was for the All Blacks 15 to play against the South African A team in Montpellier in November. So this will be some sort of midweek game when the Springboks and the All Blacks are touring Europe in November. So they are aiming to have the second string team to play each other in Montpellier. The, the second thing that New Zealand and South Africa has agreed upon and put in place is for the New Zealand under-19 team to tour South Africa in November. So I think this will be a very good thing for both countries. It will give the New Zealand youngsters exposure on what it is to play in South Africa and also it will give the South African youngsters exposure on how to play against um, this unique style of New Zealand. And the third thing that might be put in place is for the Crusaders to tour South Africa where they will play against the Cheetahs in um, their pre-season. So, obviously, with COVID undermining Super Rugby since 2020, New Zealand and South Africa, they haven't faced each other or experienced the unique brand of rugby that each country play. And I think that it has impacted, I think in my opinion, it has impacted New Zealand negatively more than what it actually has impacted South African rugby or the Springboks. So guys, there we have it. They are busy to, to rebuild that, that relationship between the, these two great rivals, between these two great countries. And from my side, I would love us to have or to maintain that bond that um, was there for over 100 years. Even if the, the rivalry was sometimes set in animosity, but it is something that's well and something that's good for world rugby. So what do you guys think? Are you guys happy with the developments on them trying to rebuild what was almost lost and shattered? I think it's a good thing. So I want to hear from you. What do you guys think? You can comment in the comment section and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Mm -hmm.